hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the further topics of Odoo 16 development so in the previous session we have successfully learned how to create a very basic module in Odoo how to add menus how to add window actions and how to link a menu and action and how to define a tree view and form view so in this session we will be trying to cover the points like how to add tracking for the fields and how to add chatter to the form view how to define an on change function how to define a compute field etc so these points we will be trying to cover in this session so if you see the screen we have Odoo 16 community edition and you can follow the same method in enterprise edition also so here we have the records that we have created that is we have successfully created hospital dot patient model and we have created one record in that database table so what we will be trying to do is that we'll be trying to show you how we can add a tracking for the form view so what i'll do is that if i go to the sales application and if you go to the products form or if you take customers and if i open any customer i'll take this blah blah which we have created yesterday and if you see the bottom side of the screen so here we have the sheet and at the bottom of the screen you can see mitchell admin created this contact and if i put some phone number over here and if i click on save you can see these values are getting tracked in this section so this section of the form view is called as chatter section that is chatter section where we will have the details of like tracking so here we can see the contact is created by mitchell admin when it is on yesterday and today there was one action that mitchell admin has been has changed the phone number from none which was empty to this number similarly if i set a email address here mark brown and if i click on save and if i click on save you can see that also has been tracked in the chatter section so let's see how we can add a similar tracking inside the patient model so here we have the name and if i change the age to 30 and if i change the gender to male and click on save currently you can see we don't have such a functionality inside our model so let's see how we can add that inside this hospital dot patient model so for that what i'll do is that i'll go to the pie charm and let me open our custom module which is om hospital and let me take the patient dot py file where we have defined the model so to get this functionality that is to get the chatter section here we have to inherit a model so if i go to odoo source code i'll take account module or let me take account.move file and I'll copy this. So I'll add some codes here. I'll explain you that. Just I have inherited a class to inherited a class to our class that is i have just inherited mail dot thread either you can put it inside a list or directly you can give like this so to the created model that is hospital dot patient i have inherited some function that is inherit inherit equal to mail dot thread just i have given like this and let me restart and see what happens so i have just restarted and you can see model hospital dot patient inherits from non-existing model mail dot thread so here you can see you are getting an exception so what you have to do is that you have to go to your manifest file and here we will add one more key call depends that is currently we are inheriting a class here you can see inside our module we are inheriting mail dot thread class so if you check inside the odoo source code and let's see where this class is defined name let's see where this class is defined name equal to I cannot search let me search yeah you can see there is a class inside Odoo called mail.thread which is defined inside which module mail module so I am using a class from this module so I have to inherit that is I have to inherit or I have to make this module 
as a dependent module of our module that is inside the depends key i can specify for the working of my module that is to the working of om hospital module this has to be depend on the mail module that is simply if you are installing my module you have to install this module also so in depends i have just added mail and let me restart and see whether this exception will disappear or not so i'll just restart and let me see we don't have that error so you have an error message now you are trying to upgrade a module that depends on different module yeah there is a mistake the depends has to be specified inside a list like this depends has to be given like this and let me restart and see and currently we don't have any error all good so the depends has to be given inside list of module names so i have given mail only and if i refresh you will not see any change over here but if you go to settings and let me activate the developer mode i'll activate the developer mode and if you go to hospital patients and here you can see you have got the debugger button and if you click on that and if you click on view fields option you can see all the available fields inside this model that is current model is hospital.patient to see all the fields inside this model i can just click on view fields and here you can see now we have got around 25 fields inside our model initially it was when we stopped the last video it was around 10 i think because we have this create date create uid which all coming from the default field then we have added age gender etc but now you check you can see a lot of new fields has been added like message attachment all these fields so all these fields are coming from this inheritance from this class mail.thread once we add mail.thread which will bring all the fields from this module so if i go to mail.thread you can see here we have got a lot of fields which has been automatically added into our our database table so if i search for mes message is follower you will see it here message is follower or i'll go to settings technical then to the models and search for patient and if i open this table you can see we have got a lot of fields which has been coming from mail.thread so in python side this is what we have to do just inherit mail.thread to your model add mail module as depend module for dependent module for your module then what we have to do rest of the things has to be done inside the view level so the python side we have completed now in order to bring the chatter i'll go to views here we have the patient form view so inside the form view so let me come back to the patient form view here we have the patient form view here we need to add the chatter section which is after this sheet this sheet so after the sheet what i'll do i'll add the chatter so let me take a sample and if i search inside the xml code div class oe chatter so simply i'll copy a sample from odoo and i will put it here after sheet I will add these four lines of code here and let me see what happens so i have just added this div class oe chatter and inside that i have added two fields message follower ids and message ids so let me restart which will upgrade our module you can see the module has been upgraded and if i come to the ui and if i refresh let's see what happens you can see the change now we have send message option here log not option here attachment button you can add follower etc so i'll create a new patient odo 16 tutorials and see what happens currently you can see mitchell admin creating the record and if i click on the save button patient records created and let me try to change the name instead of odo 16 tutorials i'll put odo 16 development tutorials and see whether it's get tracked or not 
you can see it is not reflecting over here just we are getting only this but this changes is not getting reflected here so in order to get these changes to reflect or to get tracked along with the field definition we have to add one more attribute so currently when we change the patient name from odo 16 tutorials to odo 16 development tutorials it doesn't track in the log because if you go to the corresponding model along with the field we have to specify whether it has to be tracked or not you can specify it like this tracking true so by putting tracking equal to true along with the field definition we are saying we need to track this field value changes so we have added that similarly i'll add for age and for is child field and also i'll add for gentle field also so i'll move it to next line like this and let me restart and you can see the module has been upgraded now i'll come back to the form view and let me just refresh and what i'll do i'll change the name to odu 16 and i'll click on save button and you can see odu 16 development tutorials has been changed to odu 16 the name has been changed now i'll change age to what 45 and gender as female and just name as odu i make three changes i have changed name i have assigned a age and gender is set click on save you can see the tracking is coming over here so this is how we can add a tracking and chatter to a form view in odu just inherit mail.thread and add this code inside your form view so that's all about how we can add chatter and enable tracking for fields in Odoo. So that's done. Now we will be moving to next topic. What we will discuss next. Let's see how we can define an on change function in Odoo. Suppose what we have to do is that suppose if entered age is less than 10, like we will consider suppose if we input the age as 10, we have to set is child as true. That is, if I put the age as 5 here, the automatically it has to be set as true. So let's see how we can define an on change function in Odoo. So we are we have to write an on change function for the age field. So which will be done inside Python side. So I'll go to the corresponding class. Here we have hospital.patient class and let me close all the other files we just need only this so here i'll define a function i'll name it as a function definition is as follows diff on change i'll give on change of which field age on change of age and i'll compare i'll write a code here if self dot age less than or equal to 10 self dot is child equal to true else self dot is child equal to false simply i have written a function here and i have to add one more decorator for this function api on change age so simply i have written a function here so this is a decorator that is this has to be triggered on on change that is whenever we change the value of this field that is at api on change whenever the value of this field is changed this function will be getting triggered and this is the syntax diff give a name then in inside the bracket you have to give self colon then self is a what you can say self you have to is a like a record set you have to understand that it is a variable by which we can access all the fields inside that record so self dot age will give the value inside that field so here i'm adding if self dot age is less than 10 self dot here i'm writing a value to is child field i'm setting self dot is child equal to true if 
else that is if age is greater than 10 i'll put is child as false so here i have just defined a function so let's restart and see whether it get worked or not so the module has been upgraded again so i'll just do a refresh which is not needed so i'll use this odoo record currently the age is 45 i'll change it to 30 and you can see still it is false i'll put the age as 8 and i click you can see it has been changed to is child true if i put 80 here it get false if i put 1 sorry 2 true 3 true 5 true 7 true 9 true and if i put 11 you can see it get false so this function is working successfully that is at api on change of which field you can specify if you need to trigger based on multiple fields you can put comma separated field names at api on change of this field and next field can be specified here so this is how you can define an on change function in odoo so i hope this is clear for you so i hope uh, this is fine for this session and we will continue the rest of the topic in the upcoming session so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you